Pharmaceutical giant Sanofi has a goal of becoming an immunology powerhouse driven by its signature drug, Dupixent, which the CEO is calling a once-in-a-lifetime treatment. For more on those plans and on other assets in the pipeline and on the company's five-year plan to try and develop lots of breakthrough solutions, we're joined right now by Paul Hudson. He is the CEO of Sanofi. And, Paul, it's great to see you again. Great to see you all. Thanks for having me. Uh, we were just talking a little bit about what's happened with your stock. There was a deep dive in the stock when you first announced these plans to spend a lot more money on research and development so that you could grow these homegrown drugs. Um, there was some skepticism on the street at the time, but the stock has rebounded pretty sharply. Um, right along that very same time. You can see where it dropped off and where it's come back since. Yeah. What is it that you think the street is now seeing? I mean, my guess is they're hearing more about your message. What are you telling investors at this point? Well, I think we had a great opportunity post the research and development day. We shared publicly the entire pipeline. And we spent a whole day on the 12 blockbusters that are in flight. We've increased the number of phase three studies by 50%. We've got perhaps the world's best immunology pipeline. Uh, we're still leaders in rare diseases and vaccines. And I think people started to put it together. The value of the pipeline has gone up four and five fold since our strategy was released at the end of 2019. And uh, we think we're now getting a little bit of the reward for people taking time to understand it. It's very good news for us. I mean, part of the criticism, the initial criticism that came out was that you had not done this as well with homegrown drugs in the past, that a lot of them had been partnerships. What, what have you said to investors to make them say, OK, we see what's here? Well, we've been really successful with partnerships. We're very good at it. But at the same time, we've become experts in immunology. And we shared with them that these 12 assets in immunology, we know what we're doing. We know the regulatory pathways. We know the patients. We know the benefits. We want to do things that have never been done before. And we help them understand what the value will be to patients and what the value will be to them as shareholders. Uh, the Davos here this year, AI is definitely the, the, the buzzword. It's everywhere we go. And you said this is your best Davos ever because you guys are really involved with using AI for drug discovery. Yeah. I'm amazed that, of the things that you think you can do right now, just in terms of deciding where you're going to do phase three trials based on what the AI tells you. Yeah. How, how does that work? Well, it's incredible. For me, it's the great disruption. It is such an opportunity, an earthquake in discovery. We could have ahead of us a golden generation of science born out of AI. You know, for us, we've been on this journey for three, four years. And it's the whole company. It's not just a bunch of pilots in R&D, particularly in research. We're doing a structural biology with AI. We're looking at undruggable targets and making them druggable. We're going end to end. What does that drug mean, undruggable targets? Well, there's things that we've not been able to design molecules that can actually grip on a receptor to transform a patient's right. life. Huh. Mm -hmm. And now we can model that very differently and we can approach it very differently. You and might have called it AI last year or the year before, combinatorial chemistry or... You know, or that's, or drug it's where design. it started. It's yeah, where it right. started. But now, but now it'll even be more refined. But you've been doing it, in, 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 at least in drug development, for, for a couple of years. But we've this been, should accelerate it. Yeah, we've been one of the first. We're at scale. We have over 11,000 people in the company using AI on a daily basis. And, and importantly, Large language models give us an even bigger opportunity. You know, I, I was saying to somebody just recently, in my pocket, I have the equivalent of 60,000 people doing analysis on 14 million spreadsheets every day, real time. Wow. That's the scale wow. of the opportunity. Wait, say that again. 60,000 people doing what? F looking at 14 million spreadsheets with 130 terabytes of data, real time, without a human being involved. Wow. That's, that's how quickly things are moving. And that's today. Imagine a year from now. We really are becoming an AI-enabled, at scale, uh, big that's research. That's also where some of the fear comes from, I think. Yeah. Pardon? It's also where some of the fear comes from, the power of this technology right. 10 years from now. Um, I'm old enough to remember when the Internet came out. And, you know, there's, you've got to be responsible. Right. But you have to recognize the opportunity. No doubt. But, but years ago, people started talking about this, the singularity. You've, you've heard of that, where, you know, where machine learning is a billion times the sum of all human knowledge. We can't predict what machines are capable of at that point. We have, we have no idea what's on the other side of that. Uh, I, think, I think we see enough to know that we can transform patients' sure? lives. Okay. You know, well, yeah, we, have, we have an incredible pipeline. Until right. they pull the plug off, until the machines pull the plug on all of us, Paul. Well, <laughs> we've all seen the Terminator movies, and, yes. and I understand yeah. that. But I... But I think that's the best know, case scenario. But I think <laughs> when you come to this meeting and you get a sense of scale, I've had incredible one on ones with heads of state, with leaders in AI, with uh, policy decision makers on healthcare. Sanofi is so well placed, pipeline. Mm -hmm. We just launched three medicines, RSV, mm -hmm. for example, we just launched this year. We've really shown we can execute, we build a pipeline, Bonus. use AI. I think we position ourselves really well. And that's the value, by the way, mm -hmm. that people are starting to see.